comparing and ordering decimals hello hi uh, do you know about like decimals mm, i'm confused okay can you read about like decimals like decimals decimals having equal numbers of decimal places are like decimals 2.4 3.7 12.8 and 190.4 are like decimals. Did you get the meaning of this? Yes, because after the decimals, having equal numbers are like decimals. Oh, good. Now I will make it more clear. Here 2.4, after the decimal place, there is only one digit. Similarly, in 3.7, after the decimal here is also only one digits digit and after 12.8 also only one digit and after 119.4 also only one digit so they are like decimal because here is a tens place here is also in tens place here is also in tens place here is also in tens place so they all are like decimals because they have single 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 decimal number unlike decimals decimals having different number of decimal places 3.45 are unlike decimals thank you now decimal having different number of decimal places that means we can see here 3.45 here are two decimal places or two decimal numbers two numbers are two digits after one decimal yeah and in the second case 4.321 after decimal there are three digits in next example after the decimal here is only one decimal number and after one two three point one 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 here are four it means here two here three decimal numbers here is one decimal number here are four decimal numbers so they are unlike decimals because they don't have equal number of decimal numbers after the decimal they don't have equal digits yes now i understood properly now i will make you clear about uh the relation of 0 0.01 and 0 0.1 is given here 0 0.01 does not equal to 0 0.1 why to answer this question i will from the with the help of these two diagrams i will make why 0 0.01 does not equal to 0 0.1 first of all here these two are equal frame equal frame and this frame is divided into 100 parts you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 the 100 there are 100 equal parts but in the second equal frame it is divided directly you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is divided into 10 equal parts and this is divided into 100 equal parts then but these two are equal in total if we measure this uh, outer uh, border they uh, they occupied equal space yeah now we have to find here i want to say the only one box yes out of 100 i have said it only one this it can be written as one over 100 one over 100 then we can express this into 0 0.01 because this is one hundred. 100 0 0.01 this shows a 0 0.01 then i'll move to the next figure second figure i will said only one part yes only one part 
I will say it. then it can be written as 1 over 10. It is 1 tenth, which is equal to in decimal number 0 0.1. Now, comparing this part and this part, which one is greater? From the setting part, easily you can find which one is greater? 0 0.1. So, 0 0.01 does not equal to 0 0.1 or we simply write 0 0.01 is smaller than 0 0.1. Either you can conclude in this way or you can conclude in this way. So, 0 0.1 is always greater than 0 0.01. This is one part out of hundreds part, hundred parts. This is one part out of ten part. Yes, good. Now in the second phase, we will be discussing about zero point one zero equal zero point one y. Yeah, the point zero point one zero equal zero point one, or they are equal y from the given diagram. Yes, I have mentioned earlier. These two have the equal frame, the outer part, or they occupy the equal space. And the first frame is divided into 100 parts, as I have shown earlier, and second is divided into 10 equal parts. Now, what's the 0 0.10 means and 0 0.1 means? First, I will convert both into fraction. Yes, this is 1, 0 over 100 because here are two decimal places so 10 over 100 is this and second one is 1 over 10 now we have to prove they are equal yes 10 over 100 and 1 over 100 i will say it according to the first condition 10 parts out of 100 parts 10 parts i will be setting one part two part Three, four parts, five parts, six parts, seven parts, eight parts, nine parts, and ten parts. I have said it ten parts. Out of hundred parts, I have taken ten parts or ten parts are said. This occupied ten parts. Now in second case, I need to set only one part out of ten parts. Yeah, so I will say only this much part. Yes, only one part. Yes, I have said it only one part out of 10. Now comparing the first part and the second parts, all these 10 parts makes a single of the second one. So they are equal. This is from first to last. If we compare this all, if we add this all, it becomes the single one. So, 10 parts out of 100 parts equal to 1 part out of 10 part. If we divide the same frame, same thing in 10 equal parts and if we take 1 part which is equal to, if we divide the same thing into 100 parts and if you have taken 10 parts which is equal. So, 0 0.10 is simply 0 0.1 so this 0 doesn't have any meaning which is 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.1 interesting note adding 0 before the whole number doesn't disturb its value for example 1 equals 0 1 equals 0 0 1 equals 0 0 0 1 equals 0 0 0 0 1 good one zero one it seems two digits but it doesn't have any meaning two zeros no meaning three zeros no meaning four zeros no meaning all equal one so adding zero before the whole numbers doesn't disturb its value all one interesting note adding zero after the decimal number 
doesn't disturb its value. For example, 0 0.1 equals 0 0.10 equals 0 0.100 equals 0 0.1000 equals 0 0.1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Good. We can see here is only one decimal number, 0 0.1. Here are two decimals, but the 0 after the decimal number doesn't disturb. So it doesn't have any meaning. Both in no meaning, no meaning. These are no meanings. All are same. This is also 0 0.1. This is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. It doesn't disturb the value. Okay. Now, while reading the decimal numbers, we have to read the digits separately. For example, 2.34. No, it is 2.34. We should not say 234 or we should not say 2.34. That is also wrong. So, we have to read it. it. 2.34 good now which one is greater decimal 78.25 a uh, good how this is greater because by comparing the digits to the left of the decimal numbers good now i will make it more clear here we have given two numbers one is 7.825 and another number is 78.25 yeah again i want to repeat this 7.825 and 78.25 first of all to compare the decimal number we have to check the numbers comparing the digits to the left of decimal number whether the numbers are given to the left of the decimal or not here in the left of the decimal 7, here left of the decimal 78. So by comparing only 7 and 78, we can find greater decimal numbers, including other decimal numbers. So 7 and 78, while comparing 7 and 78, we find 78 is the greater. So 7.825 and 78.25, simply you can write 7.825 is smaller. This is the sign of smaller than 78.25. In this way, by comparing the digits to the left of the decimal, this and this. In this we can find it good can you make me clear about this example okay why not i will make you clear good the second example is 5.341 and 5.42 that's good now in first example we have compared the numbers left to the decimal here five and five. Oh it's the same what can we do yes very interesting now if the number left to the decimal are equal instead of 5 here maybe 100 100 or 25 25 or 75 75 maybe that it means left to the decimal if the digits or numbers are equal then yes if the digits to the left of the decimal numbers are equal yes 5 5 equal compare the digits of tens place oh great now move to the right to the decimal to the right to the decimal you can see this three is in tens place in first and this four is in tens place of the second now you have to compare three and four which one is greater simply you can find four is greater therefore 5.341 is smaller than 5.42 why again i want to repeat yes this left number to the decimal are equal now compare tens place number tens place number is here three here four which one is greater oh four is greater that's why this is greater than First one, interesting. I'm again confused in this question. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. 
So the next question is 4.261 and 4.252. Great. Yes. First left number, left number, same. Tens plus number, tens plus number, same. Oh, good. If the digits to the left of the decimal numbers and the tens place are equal, yes, these two, these two are equal. Then compare the digits of the hundredth place. Oh, yes, we have to move to next. We have to move to next. Here is six, here is five. Six is in hundredth place. Five is in hundredth place. Six is greater than five. Therefore, I think you guess which one is greater. This one is greater than 4.252. Good. Now I understood properly. Thank you, sir. Good. Similarly, we'll have the next question, which is 9.568 and 9.562. As I mentioned earlier, first digit the left of the decimal same tens place digits tens place digit also same and we have to shift the hundredth place digits hundredth place digits also same in that case move to the thousands place digits both decimal numbers here may be another number that doesn't matter there may not be equal number of decimal number. suppose here given seven it can be added but move to the third digit means tens hundredth thousands place digit you have to focus tens hundredths and thousands because ones place tenths place hundred place digits are same these three digits are same now comparing to eight and two you can find it is greater than two yes so if the digit to the left of the decimal number and tens hundredth place are equal then compare the digits of the thousands place here eight is greater than two therefore nine point five six eight is greater than nine point five six two if seven is given that is also greater this is also greater thank you sir okay thank you class have a wonderful time thank you so much